Assalamualaikum. My name is Eva Nufajuri Miti Mata and I'm from 2 PPISMP Science 2. This is my video for my computational thinking unplug project. So the title of my project is Who Am I? So this is the material and the apparatus. Paper, card, scissor, glue stick, cello tape, marker pen, pictures of an animal, stopwatch. For this project, it contains two activities. So now let's play activity one. A player will receive a picture without knowing who it is. With the card on her forehead, the player can only ask yes or no questions to try to figure out who they are. Minimum players are two people. The team will be set which are animals, so the player needs to guess correctly what animal is on their forehead. Okay, now let's start. Okay. Um, am I small? No. No. Am I living on the land? Yes. Am I a reptile? Uh, no. No. Am I breeding animal? Uh, yes. Am I have a tail? Yes. Am I have two legs? No. Next. Am I herbivore? Yes. Am I a wild animal? Yes. Wait, am I have big ears? Yes. Am I have a trunk? Yes. Elephant! Yes, good. That's correct. And that is the activity one. So now, let's take a look what are the elements of computational thinking in this activity. The first one is decomposition. Decomposition is breaking down a complex problem into smaller or management parts. So, for this activity, the complex problem is who am I? So, the player will break down the complex problem by asking some detailed questions to get the clue of the picture to get an answer. Such as, am I small? Am I reptile? Or am I herbivore? The second one is pattern recognition. Pattern recognition is looking for similarities among and within problems. In this activity, the player will observe the patterns or questions that had been asked to guess more about the pictures. The next one is abstraction. Abstraction is focusing on the important information only and ignoring irrelevant detail. In this activity, the player will focus on the answer either yes or no and ignore the unrelated questions. Other than that, algorithm is also one of the elements in computational thinking. Algorithm is developing a step-by-step -step solution to the problem. When the player has recognized the picture for sure, she can ask more questions related to the picture to get confidence to guess them and win after the game. The last one is evaluation. It is when the player decides the best assumption about the animal. And now it's time for activity 2. A player will listen to the imaginative story about an animal. A player will be given one minute to sketch a mind map about what she thought. Then, she can show her answer and describe it critically. The player needs to guess correctly what animal in the story. Now, you will listen to the imaginative story about an animal. Hello. I am an animal that lives in the deep sea. I have a bulbous head and large eyes. I do not have a tail, but I have eight useful arms. I cannot say moo or meow or even chip chip. I am also known as a wild animal. And the most important thing is, 
I have the ability to use my black or bluish black ink to protect myself from enemies. Now, you will be given 1 minute to sketch a mind map about what, what you thought. Okay, time's up. Now you can show about uh, your answer and what you thought about who am I. Alright. So, uh, my answer is octopus. Uh, this is because it, have, uh, it has bulbous head, it has head useful arms, it has large eyes, and also, um, and the most important thing is, uh, it uh, has the ability to use the ink to protect itself from enemies. So that is why I think the answer is octopus. Yes, correct. Thank you. And that is the activity too. So now, let's take a look what are the elements of computational thinking in this activity too. The first one is pattern recognition. It can be clearly seen when the player observes and identifies the pattern of story that is given to guess the clue of an animal. The next one is algorithm. It is when the player draws the mind map and describes the animal in the story. She can have the solution to get the correct answer. And then the last one is evaluation. It is when the player decides the best assumption of an animal. In conclusion, I have identified and learned all five elements of computational thinking in these activities. That's all from my Project 1 video for computational thinking. Thank you!